Hello folks and welcome to Saving Miller. So, I wanted to show you the first project that I did with my router. Um, I got the router all set up and kind of ran it through its paces and like the, set, the little drawing that you saw me uh, do for the intro video um, kind of proved that it was mostly functional. So we had quite a few issues to work out. Uh, but I wanted to do a fairly simple project here to sort of vet it, to see um, to see that everything was working for a whole project and uh, also just to become f more familiar with it myself because I don't, don't really know much about the uh, CNC machines. And so what I decided to do here is make some very simple nesting boxes for the duck coop. You can actually see it in the background. Um, I have the frame put together and so I need these nesting boxes for the ducks. They need to be low, almost on the ground for them. And I decided, hey, I'll you, you know do some dado cuts in here and make the box out of plywood. And that'll give me a chance to use the router because my shop is very small and being able to use a router to cut a full 4x8 sheet of plywood is actually quite an advantage. And I'll throw in some curves and some stuff like that to, just to make it interesting. So initially here, I have this three-quarter inch bit. Um, my selection of bits is, is pretty small, so I don't have some of the bits that I'm going to need in the future. So I kind of had to make do with what I have. Um, the router here, is, this video, is real time, so it's going very slowly. Um, didn't actually want to push it. I just wanted to, you know, see that it was working, and I was there to stop it if, if, in case that was necessary. So now we're going to shift it into high gear. This is, um, I don't remember how many multiples this is, but this is not real real time speed anymore. So I just want to speed it up so you can kind of see what this first part of the project looks like. This is going to be the bottom of it, and so I'm uh, recessing all four sides so the, the sides of the boxes will go in those recesses. So I made many, 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 many mistakes on designing this and on using it so I didn't get the spacing right it's not consistent um, I you know I chose the wrong side of the line for the cutting vectors the just so many things and what I did initially is design I laid out this bottom and I cut it because you know I want to give my confidence up that yes I can do this <laughs> however what that did actually is make it very difficult to get the others lined up in a good spot and you can also see I'm holding the workpiece down this is a full 4 by 8 sheet of plywood I'm holding it down with some clamps on the edges so I had to work around those and make sure the router doesn't run into them so <laughs> many many challenges that I had with this but I learned quite a few things and in the end it's going to be mostly a viable project so I got this part done and then um, I cut some other um, dados with this bit for other pieces and then what I'm going to do is switch over to an end mill bit to actually cut out the outside of it. So let's see how that went for me. So at this point I've reached the end of the project. I've got, uh, this is the last cut file that I put together, the last toolpath, and I've got a quarter inch bit in there. It is half an inch deep and I have three quarter inch plywood. So my tooling is just horribly <laughs> uh, ineffective. So it didn't actually cause any problems other than it just cut very, very poorly. It's really not designed for plywood. <clears throat> but I wanted to use it to cut these pieces out. The other issue that I had is that it didn't cut deep enough. You can see I did get the one side out, but not the other one. Um, we are once again in real time speed here. I got a little more courageous and I'm cutting at one inch per second. So a little bit faster than I was going to start with. Um, kind of got a good idea of how fast I can cut. With a, with a proper uh, cutter, I'm going to be able to go much faster. Okay, let's speed this up, get this over with. Enough nasty looking plywood cuts there. <laughs>
It did take me longer to do this with the router than it would have if I had done it by hand, but I was pretty pleased with, I thought this was a good project to start out with. Um, just kind of helped me get in there and get something done. So here we are. That is the last cut and I've got it done. This was pretty exciting. I enjoyed it a lot, learned a lot from it, and it gave me a pretty good idea of what I need to do going forward to make this a useful tool in my shop. Well, there is my first CNC project. These are intended to be nesting boxes, so this is not a very critical project. And I wanted to do it with the router so that I could learn a few things. And boy, did I learn something. So, <clears throat> I believe I now have everything sorted out with the router. It seemed, um, especially this morning, like everything was functioning correctly. I got good, accurate cuts. Um, most of the mistakes were mine. I learned a lot. There's some limitations with the uh, with the programs, <clears throat> so I made a lot of mistakes here. But I did have some issues with the router losing position when I was cutting this piece. Um, I think I know what that was. I had the actual router right here plugged into the same. Um, pow uh, the same outlet as the computer and I think the high frequency was messing with it and and making the uh, servos or the the stepper motors here uh, making them stutter and mess up and so it would lose position so I lost position on this piece probably five times it was quite a nightmare and then you can see these cuts are really rough I don't have a proper um, cutter <clears throat> I was just using a quarter inch end mill for the last cuts here the bit that I used for for this it actually was great it did a really good job so I'm gonna have to get a better cutter for plywood so that I can do this but overall I'm quite pleased and I think that with some uh, with some practice I'll be able to make some very very cool stuff so here's a quick look at my first project on the CNC, saving Miller out. <laughs>